Hey guys, what is up? This is CH from VillagePartsource.com with our second video of our HTML5 tutorials. And in this one, we're going to talk about what is HTML5 and why it's different from XHTML. Why is HTML5 uh, most important or important right now? It's because it can be read on all browsers and almost all dev devices like Androids and smartphones and um, tablets and Chrome browser, Internet Explorer browser, Safari, Mozilla, Opera, etc. It is the most universal markup language out there right now. And right now it's August 30th, 2012. So I think that's pretty safe to say for at least a couple more years. Maybe much longer. Maybe HTML5 will be around in 5 or 10 years. I'm not really sure. Nobody is. But whatever. In addition to its universal markup, HTML5 uses JavaScript to program APIs. And this, if this makes absolute no sense to you right now, don't worry, because you're going to have a perfect understanding of what JavaScript and APIs are in a couple more videos down the road. So that's really just what HTML5 is. It's XHTML, which, just was, which is just a more stringent code of HTML, plus CSS, which is our cascading style sheets, which gives it all the style and the... Uh, um, the colors and the fonts and all those attributes, as well as JavaScript. And JavaScript is a front-end programming language. So, again, if this doesn't make sense to you, just stick with me, and you guys are going to have perfect knowledge and understanding of what I'm talking about in a couple videos down the road. So that's pretty much what HTML5 is. It's just all of these kind of bundled together like a, like a burrito or a, a gyro. That's a more proper analogy. There's no Adobe Flash involved, which is awesome because JavaScript is way better than Adobe Flash because Flash crashes and JavaScript is awesome and will be around for a very long time. So this is the makeup of what HTML5 is. And uh, yeah, I mean, the only reason it's really different from XHTML is that it includes JavaScript as well as CSS. It's actually CSS3, which we're going to talk about more, which... Um, we're going to talk about why CSS3 is important and, you know, the responsive things it could do. So hopefully this made sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to go ahead and create our folder.